Bishop earlier, um, uh, of an awesome way. Um, I'm going to say a little prayer for you. Um, my Heavenly Father, um, I, I thank you for bringing me um, to uh, another one of your houses, Father, to uh, uh, meet uh, some more of my extended family, Father, all my brothers and sisters here. Uh, my Father, um, through the power of your Holy Spirit, um, you've helped me put these words on paper, Father. Um, so I ask you, Father, to please calm my nerves so I can speak these words, Father. And Father, maybe may we touch some, some hearts here and maybe some lost souls, Father. Um, these words are, are to glorify you, Father. Um, we just love you so much in, in your holy and precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Um, hello, my name is Terry. I was born in Toronto. Uh, my mother gave me up for adoption when I was a baby, so I wasn't off to a very good start in life. From the early years of my childhood, I found out real quick that it was not a good environment to be raised as a child um, because my adoptive parents were severe alcoholics. I can remember severe mental and physical abuse towards myself and my mother. It was a nightmare pretty well all the time. But little did I know, this is just the beginning of this horrible life. I first met the devil face to face when I was around nine years old. He came in the face of a female babysitter. She abused me sexually for a year. I met Satan again, this time he was disguised as a male babysitter. He was more evil, disgusting, and perverted than he was before. The alcoholism got a lot worse in the household. Babysitters weren't needed anymore. I was completely fending for myself. I had no curfew. Because of this, I can remember myself wandering the streets of London at the age of 12, with Lucifer guiding me by the hand. He brought me into the sex and drug infested part of the city. He showed me how I could have sex with wicked people and get paid for it. These wicked people also introduced me to every drug in the book. But the drug that really took a stronghold on my life was cocaine. Throughout my preteen, teen, and adult life, I had to have this drug to suppress my alienation of affection, my depression and guilt of what I have become. I have done pretty well everything you can do that is deceptive and evil to get this drug. I have even almost committed murders on a couple of occasions, being in a complete psychotic state, having no sleep for weeks on end, needing more of the drug, maliciously and viciously assaulting drug dealers. My addiction has also caused me to overdose many times I have almost died. I have been to prison several times. I have gone through several unhealthy relationships. I was addicted to pornography. I was also a master manipulator. After years upon years of working for the evil one, my life took a real serious turn. Satan took my hand for one last time. He took me to a set of railroad traps in downtown London with the suicide note in my pocket. You see, the devil had destroyed my whole life. I wasn't going to be happy until I was dead. I placed my head on the trap. <laughs> When the train was approaching, I started to cry out in prayer, if there is a God, please save me. The train was honking its horn, 
and something in my heart told me not to do it. I got up and ran home. The next morning I called my brother who was a devoted Christian and he told, I told him what had happened. He pulled his car off to the side of the road and asked God what to do. The Lord reminded him of a book that he had read some 20 years earlier, David Wilkerson's The Cross and the Switchblade, and he wondered if there was a Teen Challenge nearby. He found out about Teen Challenge London. Shortly thereafter, I was sitting in Teen Challenge staff and telling them my horrible life story. After I left the farm, something in my heart was telling me this is where I needed to be. Little did I know I had a very large amount of Christians who had been praying for me for a long time. And I truly believe in the power of prayer because I'm standing here alive telling you all my testimony. I also truly believe in the power of the Holy Spirit because on intake day when my brother and I were traveling up Sharon Road toward Teen Challenge, I felt something pulling and tugging at my heart. This overwhelming supernatural feeling was pulling me to the farm. And when I walked through the doors and got settled in, my heart felt full, full of what I did not know. But I soon found out it was full of love. <laughs> All the years of pain and sorrow of medicating myself because I needed love. All those years of being lost and searching for something, now I have found it. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, the love my Father, Lord Jesus, has given me is amazing. The Lord has taken away my addictions, self-abuse, depression, the violence, the malice, the hopelessness, and the forces of hell. And he has replaced these with hope, humility, self-discipline, happiness, holiness, healing, salvation, conviction, and forgiveness. For I have forgiven all that have brought me harm, and I have forgiven myself. I have truly seen and felt the power of God. My once lost soul is now testifying of a life set free from the bondage of Satan. I praise and worship the Lord for this and want to manifest myself in him today, tomorrow, and forever. Um, I'm going to leave you all with a scripture. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. Thank you.